Yes. All right. So the way we like to finish the show before we wrap up is something we refer to as the whistle widget of the week. This is something we utilize in our business. It saves us time, makes us more money, or just helps us have more fun. What do you got, Brian? So this was, I mentioned him again, uh, but apparently when you have a call with Jesse from Call Action, you uh, talk about a lot of things he talked about. Uh, this is, I think, my third time bringing him up today. So one of the things that we're working on doing is including um, some, oh, shit, some GIFs in our call action campaigns. Um, and one of the things he recommended very, very much in line with this video is tell them exactly what to do. He said, screen record your phone um, and show them the steps you want to do to take the action. And then use this app called Image Play, I-M-G-P-L-A-Y. Um, and you can turn it into a GIF or a GIF. Shut up, let's just keep moving on. Uh, so I started messing around with it today. It looks like there is a free option. The paid option, I think, can remove the uh, the watermark. But uh, it looks pretty cool from what I've seen so far. So Image Play is my widget of the week. That's where you can make some good GIFs. Moms like us choose GIF. <laughs> it's GIF, not GIF. All right, uh, the one I want to share today is something that I use my time as my uh, most valuable asset. It's cliche as hell, but it's so freaking true. And so in order for me to manage my time, I need to have a system to do that. Um, I also, right, I have a large team here in San Diego and in a, a larger team across the world now that we've grown. And when people want to meet with me, I don't want, I don't have time to play like, oh, will this work for you? Will this time work? What about this time? What about like, I don't have time for that shit. Um, so I have a very simple system. It's called Calendly, uh, C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y, Calendly. They have a free option and a paid option. And it's fantastic because I can set up different types of events in there. So I have like a 15 minute call, a 15 minute Zoom, a 30 minute call, a 30 minute Zoom, right? I can have these different things um, built in there. Somebody wants to meet with me, talk EXP. Like I have all these different events in there. So I can just provide a link to somebody and they can go in and they could just book it. And it's synced up with my Google Calendar. I can set buffers. I can say like, hey, if it's a phone call, I just need like 15 minutes before and after. Um, and somebody can book. If it's a Zoom, I need like 30 minutes before and after. If it's an in-person meeting, I need like 45 minutes before and after, right? You could set buffers so to make sure that you're not like squeezing appointments in where there's no room. You have total control over it. Um, you can also build it out to where I can ask them, people a couple questions when they book with you. You can even have it send them like text reminders to make sure they don't forget about the appointment they set with you. So Calendly, fantastic. There's a free option or a paid option, which costs like 10 bucks a month or something. It's totally worth it. Um, so that's been huge for me. The busier I've gotten, the more I've relied on that. And then we just, we've talked about subdomains in a previous video, but I just registered a subdomain. I'm not going to give it out on this video because <laughs> I don't want a bunch of random stuff in my calendar. Um, but you could just register something like calendly.kylewhistle.com, um, something like that. <laughs> so think about what you might want that beginning of your subdomain to be. So I don't have to remember like, hey, what's my Calendly link? Like Calendly.123, like I don't have time to remember that. So I just register a subdomain that's a shortcut that goes right in there. Or you could do a vanity URL that's like meetwithkyle.com and, and that would drive to it. Um, either one of those would work, but Calendly is a fantastic and there's a web version and there's an app version. So cool, well hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of the show today. Uh, the, if you have a question you wanna have us answer on a future episode of the show, you can always go to thewhistleway.com. You can also subscribe to the podcast, YouTube channel, join our referral network, and find out about upcoming events like our Media Mayor Mastermind, uh, which is a deep dive into everything Brian and I have learned over the last six years of creating video, kind of like what we did today. This was like one small segment of what we talk about at that event. So if you want more of that, make sure to go to thewhistleway.com. And if you enjoyed the video, um, make sure if you're watching on YouTube, hit the uh, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you get notified of future episodes. And if you're listening on a podcast platform, make sure to give us a review. That stuff really, really helps us out and spreads the word about what we're doing here with the Whistle Way podcast. So one, with that said, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys. Wait, wait. Before you leave, I want to share some more tips and tricks that we're using in our business to take it to that next level. Just click right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Click right here.